Hi everyone, this is Get Wisdom with our videos. Welcome. Now before I start, I would like to thank my Father and God of our Lord Jesus Christ for this grace that He has granted me to be here and share His word to you. Father, thank you so much for this grace. I appreciate you, Lord. I thank you. I magnify you, God. Thank you so much, Father, for this grace that you have put into my heart to share your word, Father God, to your people. And Father, I pray that as they hear this word, you bless them, you touch them, you heal them, you meet their needs, God, I pray in the name of Jesus. You strengthen them, Father God, I pray. You free them from all the works of the devil. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I pray, Father God. You loose them from the grip of Satan. By the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, God, for your loving kindness. Father, I give all the praise, Father God. Thank you so much for your goodness upon our lives, Father God. To you be all the glory, honor, and power, and praise forever, Jesus. Amen. Now, today, I want to talk about the, uh, you know, the new age. You know, waking up to the new age. You need to understand that we are in the end time now. And whatever is happening in the world is just the signs of the end. Jesus spoke about the signs of the end when you started the book of Matthew chapter number 24. When you read the whole chapter, you, you, you will discover what Jesus said concerning the end time. We are actually in the end time now. So it's time to waking up to the new age. It's a new age. The new age that is the age that is waiting for the coming of Christ Jesus. So you don't expect to live the same life that you used to live in the past. It's time now to waking up now. You need to wake up. If you are sleeping, it's time to wake up. If you are if you are walking blindly, it's time now to know God's word and walk in the light of his word. If you are someone that was just doing things anyhow, it's time now to wake up and start doing things according to the work of God, according to the will of God and according to the word of God. It's very important. Don't just get up every day without praying. The new age is the age that prays. Every morning you need to make it your habit to pray. You, you need to become uh, addicted to pray. The new age is the age that becomes, you, you know, so focusing on Jesus Christ alone. What he says is what you, you want to do. What Christ says in the Bible is what you want to hear, is what you want to do, is what you want to become. That is what is about the new age. You need to know the scriptures very well. It's very important. It's not enough just to say, you know, I'm a new creature. I'm a new creature in Christ. It's time to manifest the new creation. The world is expecting us to show forth the works of Christ. The world is expecting us to manifest the power of God. People are going through so many things and they're looking for answers. But these answers are in you. You as a believer, you are the one who is holding the answers to all the problems that this world is looking for. Because you carry Christ. The solution is God. God is in you as a believer. Therefore, you are an embodiment of the solutions to the problems that people are facing today. Now, the Bible says, let me read for you the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 5 and verse 17. The Bible says that, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. He says, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. So that means the day that you gave your heart to Christ, you became a new person. You became a new being. You became a new creature, a new creation, a new type of person. So your whole life needs to be forgotten. Your past life needs to be erased. In other words, the moment you entered into Christ, your old life was erased. So you don't have to live according to the experiences of the past. You need to focus ahead what is coming ahead. Jesus is coming now. So your focus should be on Christ who is coming. And it's very important. So the new age is the age that look to God Almighty. The new age expects the coming of the Messiah. The new age talks about Jesus. The new age looks at Christ, that Christ is the King. The new age recognizes that God Almighty is our spiritual Father. The new age goes out to meet the needs of people. The new age is not selfish. The new age actually prays for other people. The new age stands for others. The new age is the age that becomes satisfied with what God gives. The new age is the age that is always appreciating what God is granting to the church. The new age is 
the age that makes sure that the word of God becomes fulfilled here on earth according as it is written in the Bible. So you are responsible to make sure that the word of God actually comes to reality in this world. Just because the world is going through so much turmoil, so much problems, that doesn't mean that God cannot do something. God is actually working. He's working in us. He's working in our lives. He's working in you as a believer. What you need is stick to his word. You need to stick to his, to his word. Jesus said that heaven and earth shall pass away. But he says, but my words shall not pass away. He said his word that he spoke shall not pass away. So what are we supposed to do? The new age is the new age. is the age that sticks to the words of Jesus. Because the words of Jesus shall not pass away. The words of Jesus are just fulfilling whatever Christ said is coming to pass. What we are seeing today in the world is actually what Jesus said, making his word to be true. So the new age is the age that holding on to the word of God, holding on to the promises of God, and making sure that what God has said, it has to come to pass. The new age is the age that sees God as God and man as man. The new age is the age that recognizes that Christ is the Messiah, is the King, is the Lord, and His name is above all names. That's the new age. It is time for, for you as a believer to speak to every situation, to bow down to Jesus Christ. The new age is the age that tells the sickness that Jesus Christ is God. The sickness must bow down to the name of Jesus. The new age is the age that tells to a sick body that Jesus Christ, He paid a price by His stripes. This body was healed. The new age is the age that tells poverty that through the grace of Jesus Christ, man was made rich. The new age is the age that tells the curse, the spirit of a curse, that cursing spirit that you, Jesus Christ nailed you to the cross. Therefore, the new age is the age that is free from curse, it's free from sin. The Bible says Jesus Christ was made to be sin for us and he was nailed to the cross. And another part says that Jesus Christ was made to be a curse for us so that we might become the blessing of God. So the new age is the, is the age that is a blessing and not a curse. You are the new age. Wake up to the new age. Tell the curses that you are under my feet. I am a blessing and not a curse. Tell sin that I'm the righteousness of God and not a sinner. Tell sickness that I'm the healed of God and not a sick person. Tell poverty that I'm, I'm rich, I'm wealthy, not poor. Wake up to the new age. It is time to claim who we are in Christ Jesus. It is time to claim your rights in Christ. Don't allow anything that is not of God to take charge over your life. Don't allow anything that is of darkness to dominate your home. If you are feeling to sleep at night, you need to get up and kick out whatever spirit that is disturbing you. Command light to come into your home. Command light to come into your heart, into your life, into the, into the lives of your children, your family members. Command light to come into your house. Don't allow darkness to dominate your home. Don't fail to sleep at night because, you know, the witches and wizards are disturbing you. Command them to go by the power of the Holy Spirit. It is time to tell Satan that Jesus Christ is God. And it is time to show the devil that Jesus Christ took the power from him. He disarmed him. So this is the new age. The age that has to show that the holy angels of God, Jesus Christ is God. He must be honored. It's the age that has to show demons that you demons you have to bow down to Jesus. Jesus Christ defeated you. It's the age that has to tell Satan that you Satan you are defeated. You are under my feet. Is the age that has to tell sickness that you sickness, you are under my feet, you have to be healed and leave the battles of a sick person. It is time to tell the poor man that you need to come out of poverty because Jesus Christ became poor for your sake that you might become rich. This is the new age to tell the weak to become strong. This is the new age to tell the blind to see. This is the new age to tell those who are in darkness to come to light. This is the new age to tell those who are still lost to turn back to the Creator. To turn back to the Creator and become saved again. 
is the new age to tell others about Jesus Christ. It's the new age. It's the, this is the age to tell those people that are selfish and mean to start helping the needy, to start giving to the needy. Because this is the time to heap up treasures in heaven. Jesus Christ said that, store your treasure, your treasures in heaven, where a thief cannot steal and moth cannot destroy. This is the new age to start helping the needy. It's the new age that you work hard, not only to help yourself, but also help somebody. This is the new age that whatever you get, you support to the work of Christ. Without somebody saying, give, 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 no. You just know, this one I have to give to the work of Christ. This one I have to give to my, to my fellow member of the body of Christ who is suffering. This is the age that you need to go and look for someone who is struggling. This is the age that you have to get up and see the needs of others before they approach you. You have to be proactive in helping other people. This is the new age that you need to go and pray for the sick in the hospitals, even though they didn't ask you for it. It's the new age to exercise, to practice, to put into active the power that is in the name of Jesus. It's the new age to function with the Holy Spirit. It's the new age to show the world that Jesus Christ owns the power, He owns life, and He got all the power, and He gave us the power through His Spirit in us. This is the new age to manifest that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. This is the new age to tell the situation in your home to bow down to the name of Jesus. This is the new age to tell circumstances they have to bow down to your words. This is the new age to dominate whatever happens around you. Wake up to the new age. Don't sleep. We are in the end time. You don't have to sleep. Be like the wise virgins. You, oh, you remember the story of the ten virgins? He said, Five, they were wise. So be the wise, the wise ones. Always light up your candle. Get being ready for whatever is coming ahead. Get ready. Be on the go. Be on the go to help. Be on the go to pray. Be on the go to support. Be on the go to meet the needy. Be on the go to pray for others. Be on the go to help the sick. Be on the go to give. Be on the go waiting for the coming of the Lord. This is the new age that you need to make sure that the name of Christ is honored, not your name. This is the new age that you need to tell people that Jesus Christ is God. He's our Father. He's our spiritual Father, not me. This is the new age to show the world that we, as men of God, we are just ministers of His Word, ministers of God's Word. We don't own anything. He owns everything. We're just workers. And at the end of the day, He's going to pay us for what we're doing. Wake up to the new age. If you follow the principles of God, then you will see the power. The power of God will manifest. The Bible says that when Jesus taught the disciples to go and preach, the Bible says that they went out and preached the gospel. And the Lord confirmed their gospel, their messages with signs following. So this is the age that we have to go and preach the gospel as it is and the work of Christ, the power of God, the power of the Holy Spirit, the works of Christ will manifest through our lives, and the power of the Holy Spirit will manifest and do whatever thing that God has said in His Bible. Welcome to the new age. God bless you. I hope you like the message. Don't forget to share to your loved ones. Help them to become saved. I would like to encourage you to follow me on my Facebook page. Just tap the follow button. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Get Wisdom Channel. And follow me on TikTok, Get Wisdom Videos 2020. And follow me on my Instagram page, Ngozi Wisdom Rabi. Thank you so much for your support. And I really appreciate the, the messages that you're sending me, the, the prayer request. Send them, continue sending them, and I'll continue to pray for you. I'm still standing together with you. You know, I, I really appreciate God has taken us far now. We're reaching to the whole world, all the continents. So we thank God for that. So. I really appreciate your support. I really appreciate your encouragements, uh, your, your encouragements and everything that you are sending us through our messages. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'm still with you. I'm still praying for you. That may God bless you and keep you. May his face shine towards you and give you his peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Get wisdom. Wait up. I'll see you again.